Prince Andrew spent much of his life as the second in line to the throne, but according to Prince Charles this was not enough for him. In Jeremy Paxman's new Channel 5 documentary, which delves into the early lives of the Queen's children, new reports have emerged claiming that the Prince of Wales, now 70, thought his younger brother the Duke of York, now 58, wanted to be him. When asked about Andrew's place in the royal family and his relationship with Charles, the Daily Mail's own Richard Kay describes him as the spare part, in scenes due to air this evening. Speaking about Prince Charles' feelings towards his brother, Richard recalls a past incident and tells Jeremy, Charles said the trouble with my brother Andrew is that he wants to be me. Richard goes on to describe Prince Andrew as in a curious position, explaining, Andrew was the spare, for a good bit of his life he was very important. He was the number two, the Queen's second son and if anything had happened to Charles, it was going to be Andrew who took over. Explaining how he was increasingly pushed to the sun as Prince William, Harry, and then William's children came into the picture, slipping down to seventh in line to the throne, Richard added, personally I wouldn't wish for, the role of being spare. However it is a role of great privilege and great perks with not too many responsibilities. Meanwhile speaking of youngest brother Prince Edward, Earl of Wessex, now 54, his biographer Ingrid Stewart says, Charles is 16 years older than Edward and they weren't close. Recalling a past incident when Charles asserted his family ranking, she remembers, he probably only saw him in the summer at Balmoral. On one of those occasions Prince Edward went upstairs and found some of the Duke of Windsor's old kilts which of course were all the tartans that the Prince of Wales is entitled to wear, and he thought who those look rather fun. So he put one on. And it fitted. He went down to dinner in a tartan which was that of the Duke of Rothsey, and as he went into the dining room Charles went apoplectic and said what are you doing wearing that? I am the only one entitled to wear that kilt. It is a kilt for the Prince of Wales. Go upstairs and take it off. Edward being such a calm person just went okay, went upstairs and took it off and never mentioned it again. She continues, the Prince of Wales recognized all of his own tartans. And the Rothsey tartan is particularly nice. Describing the Queen's youngest child as isolated, she adds, at Buckingham Palace he, Edward, was lonely. One year on his birthday he went to have breakfast with the Queen and nothing was said. No card no present. She didn't know it was his birthday. And Richard Kay tells Jeremy Paxman. His royal aides once told me that the trouble with Prince Edward is that he can never decide whether he is his royal highness or Edward Windsor. He couldn't tell whether he was one of us or a member of the royal family. The second of the two-part series sees journalist Jeremy explore the lives of Charles, Anne, Andrew and Edward across two episodes.